In raising your backyard pets, it's, it's really good to go as natural as possible. Here we have watermelons. The chickens really love it. We got it free from our local fruit vendor. So these are things that we got out of Manila. So by by getting it, you're actually doing them a favor. It's free food for you and healthy food for your for your for your backyard animals. Don't mind if you give them extra snacks. I transferred these powder yesterday and they seem okay. on the lookout for free food for our backyard animals since parami na sila ng parami and feed costs really high and we came across Racing BSF the Black Soldier Flag um, the, Azola, the, the Azola isn't enough for the ducks that we have Though the Madre de Agua are picking up, we're still on the lookout for more food alternative for our dogs. And what we came across with is how to, what we're trying right now is how to attract BSF. So what we need is a uh, mash. This is what we, I saw na pwede na. Uh, hog mash. And then yakult. But then this one is frozen. The kids already got to the yogurt before I did. One liter of water um, and EM4. But since EM4 is not available in our country, so uh, we're planning to add molasses instead because it's abundant in our area. We'll ferment these things. Pagka nahalo na siya, ipa-ferment namin, lalagay sa Ziploc. After a few days, hopefully we can attract the BSF fly and hopefully they lay on the egg. They lay on these um, cartons that I made. Actually, I have already scattered them around because I saw already before. Eh? And the eggs, as you know by now, would give you free food. Let's pour water. Anna, can you pour the yakult, please? And do not some liquid now. Turbo. Harry, turbo. Turbo. Yes, can you pour it in? Yakult and water. So the hog mash is inside. Um, what we need to do now is ilagay ko na siya sa bag. What we need to do now is to take off all the air. Make sure na yung plastic hindi hindi siya 
Make sure na yung plastic hindi siya... Hindi, wala siyang butas. Kasi i-peppermint nga natin. So, after taking out the air, ibubuhol natin siya ng ganyan and let it sit for uh, a few days. Tapos, lulobo na siyang ganun. It has yeast. No, it has prebiotics. Ah, the whole thing So, cut. So, we'll see in the following days. You really can't plant much with chicken. So now, we'll transfer these sticks. This is Madre de Agua. We'll, we'll plant it dun sa driveway while they're still fresh. So, kung itatanim mo siya, itutusok mo yung stick, ayan, mag-uugat na siya right after. Actually, the mad Madre de Agua is uh, very easy to grow. Hindi rin siya maselan kahit hindi mo siya nadidiligan. See, these are the ones that we have. Nasa driveway lang siya, pero dead ma lang siya kahit hindi siya nadidiligan masyad. So, i-plant natin yung itong mga iba at itong nabunot ko kanina nung nag-weeding kami. It's also okay kahit na uh, kahit na anong soil sa Madre de Agua. si this soil that we're working on is actually a bit sandy. Pero okay naman siya. Hindi naman nasa-stunt yung growth. happy that we have these greens inside the house. This is wheat. And since the the father system worked really well, as you can see, the harvest ko na halos lahat. We're starting a new batch. Yan na siya. Just soak it in water. Yung mga lumulutang, pakain mo na sa mga alaga mo. Tomorrow, they will double in they will double in size. And to transfer na natin to sa sa system natin. So, we, can, we will just spray. I use this sprayer. Parang na mist-mist lang siya. So, yun. Kasi kapag masyadong nadihiligan, mag-rot naman siya. Walang mag-grow. So, it's best to do na uh, twice a day. If it's really hot, you can see na pag nagda-dry siya, as you can see here, yan, medyo moist siya. Okay, yun. Pero yung gantong, like, yan, masyadong nadilig ng, ng bongga, nung mag-burat siya. So, sayang. So, alalay lang sa pagdidilig. Ito kasi nadaan-daan na ng mga bata. Nadidiligan yung stuff. And ako din, natutuwa pag nag-grow sila dilig. I've set up a bucket for maggots because chickens would also love to nibble on maggots. It's actually just very simple. You just tie it around. I, I plan to put more of these because I have lots of chickens. So we'll just basically put everything that's crap in your kitchen. Just put it inside your bucket. And soon after, you're going to have free food for your chickens. again next time in learning how to grow your own food for your backyard beds. See you again next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.